Um, with the reno talk about the renovations in general, mm -hmm. a lot has gone on. You've tried to keep the integrity of the other buildings intact with these renovations. How important was keeping the, the architecture similar? We were very careful in how we designed this so that the new buildings blend in very well with the older buildings as far as the architectural set. Um, in fact, uh, visitors that haven't been to the campus before are very challenged to find, to, to discover the new ones versus the old ones. And so uh, it's just, it's a beautiful campus. We didn't want to mess it up. And we're really proud of the way it's turned out. Some of the rooms even have a, a nice view of, of the bay. I would think that would possibly help with morale and, and uh, you know, maybe make the visit to the dock a little bit more enjoyable for some. And you're right, the, uh, the, the views for the patients were very important. It's part of the healing environment. And that's why our community living center with our extended care patients, we have balconies overlooking the back bay. When we renovate the new medical surgical unit in, in building one, they'll have great views overlooking the back bay. Even our dental clinic that we're going to move in the next couple of years is gonna be in the fifth floor of the new building where when you're sitting in the dentist chair, you've got something to look at. Long term, what, what's the final timetable here? What time will, when will everything be wrapped up? We plan to have this whole project lap, wrapped up in 2016. We're, we're, we've got several projects going. We've got just a couple more to start. And so 2016, we're gonna pack up the toolbox and that'll be that.